The crew of the USS Enterprise D already has psychiatric help with Deanna Troy on board, but that didn't stop Dr. Fraser Crane from showing up on the classic sci-fi series. Kelsey Grammer is just one in a long line of celebrities who are lifelong Star Trek fans, and he got to live the dream by showing up in a classic episode. In the fifth season episode, Cause and Effect, the crew of the USS Enterprise end up stuck in a repeating time loop that results in their collision with another ship. Throughout the episode, the crew experience deja vu as they are destroyed and reset multiple times. At the end, they finally manage to escape the time loop, along with the now freed USS Bozeman. Well, it turns out that the Bozeman had been trapped a lot longer, about 80 years longer. This ship and its crew are from the TOS movie era, and so is its captain, Morgan Bateson. Grammar plays Bateson, and this is his only time appearing as the character. However, this is not the last time we hear of the Bozeman or its commander. The Bozeman is actually mentioned a few more times, and it appears the ship has been thrown back into service. The Bozeman is mentioned in the TNG finale and the first two movies. First, when it's said to be investigating the Devron system in the finale's alternate future. It is also forced to make a course correction when Tolly and Soren exploded a star. Finally, the ship was involved in the deadly battle of Sector 01 at the start of Star Trek First Contact. Now it's possible that this is a different Bozeman. The non-canon book Ship of the Line even details how the ship was retired and how its captain helped in the design and construction of the Enterprise E. Well, we do actually see Bateson in canon once more. In the premiere of Star Trek Lower Deck's third season, Captain Freeman is on trial for the destruction of Packlet Planet. However, we find out that Bateson led a secret mission to uncover the truth. We even see an Akira-class ship during this sequence. The Akira class may be the new Bozeman, as we can clearly see a few of them during the opening events of First Contact.